Hello physios, today we learn on gonio goniometry in wrist joint. First, the wrist actions are your flexion, extension, radial and ulnar deviations. If we go on your wrist joint for a flexion, we come to know the range. It is about 0 to 80 degrees and the position is supine. Supine use the best position to measure the wrist flexion and extension and the fulcrum must be placed at the ulnar stellar process and your arm must be kept at a straight and your palm must be facing upwards you keep the fulcrum at the ulnar stellar process and your stationary arm must be parallel to the ulnar and your movable arm must be an long longitudinal axis to the fifth metacarpal that is your wrist flexion and the extension same procedure but the range is 0 to 70 degrees use the wrist extension then deviations radial and ulnar deviations your range for your radial deviation is 0 to 20 degrees and the position must be and arm updated to 90 degrees elbow must be flexed and your forearm must be pronated and your hand must be on a table to be rested up with the palm facing must be at downwards to be check your radial de deviation your fulcrum must be at a third metacarpal over the capitate over the capitate third metacarpal it is your middle finger and your stationary arm that is fixed arm must be along the midline of the dorsal for dorsal surface of the forearm upside and your movable arm must be longitudinal axis to the third metacarpal this gives your radial deviation and your ulnar deviation it is same procedure as your radial deviation but only change is over the range that is 0 to 30 degrees your ulnar deviation range is more than the radial deviation this is your ulnar deviation and thanks for watching SPN and if you like my video comment and ask the doubts thanks for watching